Well, a particular thing to focus here is its use in patients who require emergency intervention for a ruptured descending thoracic aneurysm. The interesting finding here is that uh, TVAR was utilized in this high-risk subgroup of patients, and the primary outcomes such as mortality, complication rates, and failure to rescue were not different when TVAR was compared to open repair. But the key difference is that it's a three times higher likelihood that these patients go home after the procedure. And in particular, this procedure was utilized in patients who are seven years older. And that's where I think will be a key advantage for larger hospitals to utilize this technology because they, don't, they, they are going to get patients home rather quickly. But in small hospitals, there's even a much more tremendous advantage because TVAR has uh, been shown to have better outcomes in our study compared to an open repair. And smaller hospitals don't necessarily have the expertise of a uh, heart surgeon who can perform a complex aortic operation, but uh, most small hospitals have an endovascular suite. Uh, they may not necessarily have a hybrid suite, but at least when they were performing TVAR, they were somehow able to do it better than doing an open surgical procedure. I still think it's probably quicker to, uh, to get a TVAR stent deployed. As long as you have the imaging studies already done, it's probably a lot quicker you know, to put a T-bar through the femoral artery rather than cutting open somebody's chest after positioning them on their side. Mm -hmm. Now, the uh, things have changed in the last decade. The type of uh, cardiac surgery emergencies are not what they used to be before. Uh, we rarely have a coronary emergency. Most of the types of emergencies you deal with are aortic dissections. On the other hand, most of the emergencies are handled using a cath lab or similarly vascular emergencies are handled by an endovascular team. So the endovascular uh, operating team in the hospital is geared to respond more quickly and more efficiently uh, than an open heart surgical team these days. And that's where I think TVAR will be of benefit because if a consideration is given to utilize TVAR, it is very quick to mobilize the endovascular team and get them ready. Whereas it's probably still going to take at least an hour, hour and a half before you can get an open heart team in a smaller hospital. In bigger hospitals, may not be much of a difference. However, the key is to get the imaging studies beforehand. And the emergency department in the hospitals have to uh, particularly recognize this, and they have to be very attuned to getting the appropriate imaging studies right away, rather than waiting uh, for some time before such a uh, diagnosis is entertained, and then getting the appropriate imaging studies. So you don't want to lose valuable time. As long as you have imaging studies, and you can make a quick assessment if TVAR can be done. I think that's the way sh it should go. Mm -hmm.